Hey, it's Kim. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be walking you through my currently inked for May, for the month of May. So, as I usually do, I flip through my handy dandy ink um, sample book or swatch book, I should say, and I picked out the colors that I want to use for this month. And I already did set up my little page for May and my little notebook. Um, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So let's do this. I'm thinking that the video won't be too long. And I also picked out the inks that I want to, or not the inks, the pens that I want to use for the month as well. All right, so here's my little format set up. It's really nothing too extensive. I just have a sheet for each month um, showing the options that I picked out and the pens and the inks. And also in this little booklet, with, which I believe I did explain, I have all of my pens that I have and samples of writing for each of those pens. Maybe one day. I'll go through that but no I feel like it's kind of boring <laughs> I think though I will do an updated um, fountain pen collection video because the last one I did may have been 2021 and a lot can happen in a year or like a year and a half so by that I mean a lot of pens are purchased within a year and a half <laughs> so I do think I will be doing that kind of video sometime soon. It's a pretty easy video to put together. I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but I'll get working on that. So these are the pens that I have chosen to be using for May. So I'll zoom you in and we can get started. So as is usual, uh, what I've been doing since January, I have five pens selected, so we're going to go through the five inks that I have them filled with, and the pens serve a purpose. So the first one is the one that I'll be using for my daily journal, or my daily planner, I should say, and then the next one is like an accent color that I'll normally um, use to write on the monthly calendar if I have some notes that I want to track there, or on the margins of my daily pages, just something... Um, a color I'll use if I want something to stand out or to draw attention to my eye. So that's the second one. And then the third one is the pen that I'll use for my daily journal. So that's the one I'm writing with an awful lot. So it's very much an important pen, <laughs> also an important ink. So it has to be something that I can see very well. And it has to be a pen that I enjoy writing for a long period of time with. And then the next pen I have is the one that I use for my five-year journal. So that's the one that I uh, use for family. So that's all family stuff in the five-year journal. And similarly, I like it to be something that I enjoy writing with, of course. Um, and also an ink that I do not find annoying to the eye. However, I will say that I'm kind of branching out a little bit so, you know, being a little bit more adventurous, considering those are really short passages that you write on the five-year Hobonichi um, journal. So it's not a whole lot of writing. So I can be a little bit more adventurous in the colors that I choose for that purpose. And then the fifth pen is the one that I use for my business planner, which I have stated that I'm trying to use all blue inks for the year of 2023. So I do have a blue ink ready to go for that one. Okay, zooming in so you can get a pretty good look, hopefully. And my tripod is kind of in a weird position, but hopefully that won't cause any issues. So I'm going to start off in the order that I just explained all of the pens. So I'll just take it from the top. And the first one is the one that I'm using for my daily writing in my daily planner. So this one is the Pilot Custom 74 and it is in the, is it called Smoke Blue? Hold on. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, it's called Blue Stone. <laughs> so this book does come in handy because I do write down the names and the descriptions of all of the pens as well on each of those sheets that I have reserved in here. So again, this is a Pilot Custom 74 in Blue Stone and this is a fine nib, yes. And sticking with my theme that I have been going with for the entire year, I love black inks, but I'm trying to not write with black inks all the time um, in my daily planner. So I'm just switching it up and choosing a colored ink, but the color is usually a darker, almost black kind of color <laughs> so that um, it doesn't bug me too much. And this color is the Diamine. Uh, oh, it's right here. Duh. Diamine Best Wishes. So this is from the 2022 Advent Calendar that Diamine released. And there was a different color that I wanted to use, but it was very shimmery. It was actually from the same advent calendar, and I think the color was Alpine. So that was a color that I really wanted to use because I felt like it complemented the um, colors in the May Sterling Ink subscription kit that I'll be using in my daily planner. I felt that it complemented those colors extremely well, however, it's a very shimmery ink so I think I would tire of super shimmery inks especially to use it throughout the entire month this one though the diamond best wishes actually does have a bit of shimmer in it so I'm not completely shimmer free but I don't think it'll bug me as much as the alpine option might have bothered me all right, so that is the Pilot Custom 74 with Diamond Best Wishes, and it writes beautifully. I absolutely love this pen. This is one of my favorites, for sure. And then the next color that I explained, I'll be using as an accent color. So I'm using this in a Pilot Kakuno, and this one is kind of like a wild card, the color. Oh, and it's not ready. I did ink it just before the video. Still not in the feed. Hold on. I had a momentary intermission because I needed to um, get this ink moving down into the feed, which probably did too much because now I feel like I need a napkin to wipe off the nib. Okay, so here we go. So this one is definitely a wild card. I don't normally use bright inks like this, but I like it. I don't hate it. And this one is also from the Diamine 2022 Advent Calendar and the color is called Flame. I'm sure you can see why. And the pen I have this in is, which I mentioned, a Pilot Kukuno. And this is a medium nib. Oh, but this is my yellow. And it's a medium nib. So I really do like this ink, actually. I like the ink color. And I think it complements the May uh, subscription kit from Selling Ink. Which, here's a little bit of a peek. <laughs> So you can see it has that orangey color flower. So I think that'll be nice. I didn't have an orange that was a little more subdued or a little less saturated, but I did feel this was the best color to stand out as an accent color in conjunction with the main color that I'll be using in my planner. So the next pen I'll be using is the one that's gonna be for my uh, journal. So this one is kind of a darker color, which we know I love. And this one is, actually, 
let me see because I don't remember which one it is. I don't remember the name offhand. Oh, so this one is Diamine Serendipity. So that's the one I'll be using. And you can see a lot of the sheening there. It's a really pretty ink. So clearly all of these inks, or a lot of these inks so far, I mean three out of the five, are Diamine or Diamine. Serendipity. Dipity. And this is in my Platinum Century three seven seven six. Um, the black one. And the nib I have on this is a soft fine, which I really do quite enjoy. It has like a little bit of a give. And a bounce to it that is really interesting so I really do enjoy using this for longer journaling sessions hence choosing this for my journaling pen for the month of May all right the next one is the one that I'll be using for my five-year journal and the ink is oh my goodness it's another dime mine ink <laughs> Okay, so that's fine. It's cool. And it's an ink that's from the Diamine Advent Calendar from 2022. And this color is called One More Sleep. And you can clearly see um, that it's definitely a lighter color. Something I don't typically, I'm not typically drawn to. And it's probably a color I would usually use for um, kind of like an accent but I'm gonna take a risk and use it in my five-year and the pen that I'm using is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim the color is Manu M-A-N-Y-O-U so it's like a really dark green with some iridescence to it some kind of pearlescence to it and it is a medium fine nib and I really do like this pen and this ink combination. I find that I like wetter inks in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, at least in the medium fine. Um, and also, if it's a drier ink and it's a lighter color, I find that sometimes it doesn't even show very well uh, in writing samples. So, I do think if I'm using a lighter color in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, it's important to use an ink that is wetter or on the wetter side of the spectrum. All right, the next pen that I'll be using is for, which one is this for? Oh, it's for my business planner. So, we know it's a blue ink, as I explained already. Very dark blue. And already, I don't remember what ink color this is. See, I'm so glad that I tabbed these because I would never come back to them. Oh, it's upon a star. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's another dime mine ink. No surprise there. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure everyone watching is like, Kim, duh. It's gonna be a dime mine. <laughs> that is clearly the pattern here. And like I said, it's called Upon a Star. This is giving me some hard starts. Hmm. Let's see, hold on. So, I don't know what it's doing. So this one is, and I should have put down my um, blotting paper, but whatever. So this is the, what is this, Esterbrook Esty. And This is a flex fine nib. So, is it fine? Or is it an EF? I think it's a fine. So I do find that this kind of gives me a little trouble. This nib, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is about the nib, but the flex one 
doesn't write as smoothly as the other Estabrook nibs that I have. So, I don't know if it needs some work. I don't know if it hates this ink. Or maybe I just don't press down hard enough. I mean, it is a flex nib. And I'm the type of person I actually don't press down hard at all when I write. So, I wonder if that has something to do with it. I'm going to test it out over the course of the month, obviously, to see how I like it and, and I don't know if I can kind of get it to flow a little bit better. I don't think the ink is the issue. The ink is very wet. Also, these are nibs that are not like um, Japanese kind of nibs, so they write a lot thicker or a lot broader, even though that's a fine. That is probably one of the broadest ones that I have here. Even though I have a Pilot Medium, I would say that this Esterbrook um, Flex Fine Nib is even broader than the Pilot Medium that I have here up at the top. So those are all of my inks that I'll be using for the month of May. They don't really tell a story. They don't really tell a story. And I feel like all of them are, for the most part, ones that kind of border on black, at least the darker inks. Um, like you have to kind of get a little close up to see exactly what the colors are. But that's okay. That's okay for me. I don't hate it. I don't mind it in the least. All right, so those are the inks and the pens I have chosen for my currently inked for May 2023. Of course, I'll be showing some more close-ups or some of the pens and inks in action on my Instagram page. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to check me out at Martin May Co. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you in the next one.